The course on advanced programming languages is a very interesting and challenging course because it investigates the full range of programming languages from current applied programming languages to some theoretical basis of all programming languages. And that more theoretical basis is really what's most unique and most powerful about the course. We start with looking at a functional programming language, which is quite a different paradigm than you may be familiar with in traditional or current modernly popular programming languages like C Sharp, C++, Java, and those so-called imperative programming languages. Functional programming languages have a long tradition in history and are well known for their power and conciseness of expression, as well as their more provable mathematical and theoretical values. So to learn something about the basis of all languages, we start with looking at a different language, and we look at these functional programming language paradigms, and we look at the language Haskell, which is the most popular and widely used of them. From there, we then apply that and we look at formal specification of programming languages called denotational semantics. And we actually build our own definition of a language and we build an interpreter for it in that. So that puts together these two things, knowledge of the basis of programming languages, a new tool, a new functional programming language to use for it, and actually defining our own language in it so that we can understand how languages are defined, where they come about, and what's required for their implementation. These features of functional programming languages are different than what we see in current popular languages, but these new languages, or current languages that are most widely used, are now moving to incorporate that. So whether you program in C Sharp or C++, Ruby, Python, Groovy, any of these, their big innovation these days is adding to them these long-term well-known functional programming features. Most commonly known of these are closures. Closures are the biggest feature coming along in Java 8. And they really significantly change the way libraries are designed and the way language is used and the way programs are designed also. So all in all, what you end up from this course is both a wide range of knowledge about current languages, future languages, and knowledge of how to use these newest concepts in whatever language you're currently using. It's a great course. You'll enjoy it, and it's very valuable.